So the kids are a little confused and a little upset. And we're getting ready to have dinner. Today, they have made some big announcements. And I don't, it's weird, it's like I don't wanna vlog it, but I feel like maybe we should because it's a, this is a big deal, this has never happened. I've never experienced that. And so what, I, I feel like I don't want to talk because I'm afraid I won't have my facts right. From what I understand, today our governor made a statement saying that we can no longer have meetings with more than 100 people at a time, which directly affects me because we have this party, this collaboration party with Minky Couture that we've been planning for over three months. So that's canceled or postponed, it's postponed. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints just came out with a statement canceling all meetings, which means we won't have church, activities during the week, meetings, anything like that. If they cancel school, we have to do it in the summer. Yes. Yeah, um, oh! This has never happened. I know Olivia's very nervous about it. I'm not even a little bit. Olivia's a lot I'm nervous. nervous. Yeah. Since she came up into our room last night after listening to the news on Hey Google, we had to take Hey Google away because we were like, okay, you are not listening to this. She was really nervous because this has never happened. You guys, this has never happened to you. Uh, Disneyland closed today and not forever. They have only been closed four times or they've only closed four times, 9-11, Kennedy's assassination. I can't remember the third and then for this. The biggest thing that's ever happened with us is like for me in my lifetime is 9-11. Mm -hmm. I mean even though this isn't stores killing close. as many people, it's, it's... It's different. It's just, it's something it, that's affecting the entire country. That's what I mean. I'm not comparing the two yes. by any means. I'm just saying this is affecting people. I think it's wild. It's weird though because it just, you go outside and it's like, Everything seems and functioning as normal. And guess what? Bees are back. But you have no idea what is going on in other places or where at the center. So are. I made um, some stories today on Instagram showing my food storage. I haven't been too concerned with this. And then I got a, several DMs from people that live in Italy and they're like, yeah, we didn't think it was a big deal either until, you know, we've been quarantined for three weeks now. So it is a big deal. Other parts of the country and world are being, have already been Quarantine. Quarantined. We might be quarantined. We don't know. Well, what does we'll quarantine mean? Quarantine means they put you, they isolate you. What so like, isolate? so if we were to be quarantined to our house, we have to stay in our house. Well, what do you mean isolate? Isolate just means like you're by yourself. Uh -huh. So we would stay, us not as a family, us as a group. Us too. I got scared, I was like. I would never leave, leave you. I would watch a lot side. of Disney. Not, not never be <laughs> able to, Cody, just until they say it's oh. safe. Did you hear what dad said? So yes, I did. A lot of Disney. It, it is the introvert's time to shine. <laughs> we will stay home, we'll make pies, and spend time together. That's what we'll do. We might have to cancel our road trip. So I have a brand deal that was going to put us in Florida for 10 days. And today we got I got a phone call from the brand saying, let's postpone this. Dad and I had tickets to Celine Dion and those are canceled. Canceled? <laughs> yeah. So are they giving us our money back? I, I don't know the details yet. <clears throat> there was a teacher and she signed up for a cruise, I'm not going to mm -hmm. say it, but she had, this is her very first granddaughter and it was canceled because yep. from the entire cruise ship and it was a nice cruise ship. Really yep. nice. I will say this, if you want to buy a cruise. For like in a year, the tickets are going to be cheap. <laughs> Today, I think they said, I don't know how far in advance, I hope this is right, but I learned today that you cannot come into the country. So if you're out of the country right now, like you're not coming back in, at least for 30 days is what I believe they said. That's not all. We, they banned all travel from, from Europe. Oh. For 30 days. Right now. Like, oh. Stay inside and not go to the grocery store at all? Ever? Right now, we still can. No. Do we have food here at the house yeah. in preparation? But it yes. Last us a year. Yes, it will. It'll last us a year. Yes, it will. We got lots of food. We've been preparing for this. We've kind of been told and prompted to prepare for it, and we listened so, to that, and so we did it. Is it going to happen? I don't know. No, maybe not. Sorry. We don't know. 
follow along, really is. Well, not. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what. No. But no matter what happens, we will be fine. Well, what if we're on our what if it's, and then they try and quarantine you? Uh, then quarantine then you. Trip. That's yeah. Amazing. Then you're quarantined in an RV. Really? Yes. But there's no getting out there. We're gonna get no food. Oh, we'll get food. What I'm wanting to convey to you kids is, even if we're put in a super uncomfortable position, let's say we can only eat once every two days. So you have to go one full day without eating, but then you get to eat the next day. Would that be really uncomfortable? Yes. Yes. Would we survive? No. Yes. Yes, we would. What I'm trying to tell you is, we will survive and we will be fine. Mm -hmm. But what about our dog? She'll be fine. We got. She'll eat right along Where with us. Where's she gonna go to the bathroom then? She can do go in the yard. You just said that we have to stay in our house. We're just not allowed to go like visit other people. Okay. Well, before the kids get too wild, I think I'll. That was Boston. No, it wasn't. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> Before the kids get too wild, I'm going to put the camera away. That was just our, this is just our dinner, just our conversation about the coronavirus and what's going on. So, there's that for basically our documenting purposes. <laughs> and if everyone's quarantined, you'll just have to go on a binge watch of the Bonnie Holine channel. I have some great content. Okay, <laughs> bye. This is not affecting us yet. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to worry until it is affecting us. So and then when it, it out is, once it does, and then once it does, we'll figure it out. So it is going to affect us like it will be No, I don't know. I don't know. But we're just getting ready for it. And do you believe that I would make sure everything is okay for you no matter what? Do you believe that? Yeah then I don't want you to worry, okay? Because I promise I'll take care of it, okay? Does that make you feel better? Yeah. But it is kind of weird to think about, isn't it? Yeah. mad at the kids because they're all freaking out about this and I said okay if crap hits, crap the, fan. hits the fan are you strong enough to deal with it I'm asking you are you strong <laughs> yes okay I let you have your cry session but now I'm asking you are you strong enough if crap hits the fan yeah are you yeah are you yeah. then stop boobing about it and we'll handle it when it comes up where is the fan come from? I asked the kids, I said, if crap hits the fan, are you strong enough to handle it? And Boston with tears in his eyes says, where is the fan coming from? Boston, <laughs> where does it come from? It's just a phrase. It's, <laughs> there's no real fan. There is no fan. It's the Corona fan. <laughs> but here's what I am saying. And I'm just going to repeat myself because I think it's really important. Yes, you can cry. You can be sad. You can be nervous. But when, but when the time comes, you're strong enough to deal with it, so I want you to toughen up is what I'm saying. Is that okay to say? I mean, that's fine to that's say. That's how this household rolls. That's how we roll, okay? <laughs> Officially, <laughs> over. Over. So the footage you just saw was of us kind of talking to the kids because there was a lot of public announcements going on and the kids were getting really worried and so we were just trying to like teach them what was going on and I kept telling Joel I'm like I don't know how to feel about this because it seems like a big deal but then like it doesn't. Today I was at the school this morning and uh, we were talking with some people that were in some meetings and they were like no like we're not planning on canceling school. A couple hours later I come home and we get a message from the governor saying that all public Utah schools are canceled for two weeks. That's just the update for now. It's just so weird how things change so quickly. I do feel like it's wise that they're taking preventative measures so that we don't spread it maybe as quickly as other countries have. Mm -hmm.